everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Macy and I'm a software engineer and designer. I make content on my cozy lifestyle, my tech and desk setups, and I also share my design and code journeys. So today's video is really exciting because I'm going to be showing the process of how we create our Cozy Lee desk accessories. If you don't already know, Cozy Lee is my studio brand that I actually started with my boyfriend Tristan and my sister Ashley. At Cozy Lee Studios, we're making products that are cozy, aesthetic, yet functional for your home and productivity spaces. We actually had our first pre-order last month where we sold our own Cozy Lee desk mats. In the next weeks or so, we're actually going to be opening our next launch, which is going to have our Cozy Lee desk accessories and the rest of our Cozy Lee ecosystem. Being able to design products and bring them to life with my family has just been so fulfilling and a lot of fun. I've always found that I was never able to find products that really spoke my design language and aesthetic. So being able to create these things at Cozy Lee Studios and share them with all of you is the best part of all of this. So I'll actually leave the link to our Instagram in the description if you'd like to learn more about the ecosystem that we're building. And I'd also love to say thank you so much if you supported our first launch. The most special part about Cozy Lee Studios is that it's truly from our cozy home to yours. And I can't wait for you all to see what's coming. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing the process a little bit and take you guys behind the scenes on how we're actually bringing these desk accessories to life. We're bringing them to life with 3D printing. So I'm going to be walking you through the mood boarding process, the sketching process, all the way to the 3D modeling and 3D printing process. Just to give you all an understanding and a little introduction to 3D printing and to hopefully inspire at least one person out there to start creating. So yeah, let's get started. Finding inspiration from Cozy Lee came from within. I've had a rough past few years in my life that has made me who I am now. We all have our own personal struggles and our different ways to overcome them. And for me, I slowly heal by living slowly and focusing on the subtleties of life. I do everything with intention and I really give my all in everything that I do and everyone who's in my life. Living slowly gives me a greater appreciation for all that's around me and helps me feel positive and more whole each day. So with Cozy Lee Studios, I want our creations to remind others to live slowly and practice a cozy and zen lifestyle. I start mood boarding, pulling in different image sources, getting a better understanding of Cozy Lee Studios branding. All right, so I just finished mood boarding on Milano and now I'm starting to get an idea of how I want my desk accessories to look and a little bit on how they should function. We want our products to really feel relaxing to use, so that's why they're very inspired by Zen Gardens. It just feels really nice to be able to take something from my heritage and my culture and really integrate that part of my life into these products for all of us to enjoy. So now that I took my abstract visions and put them on a mood board, now I feel more ready to start sketching and playing around with different designs. I want my products to have a zen aesthetic and to really remind us to slow down and relax. So I'm definitely keeping that in mind and that is why mood boarding can really help with this. With mood boarding, you can really pay attention to the theme of the thing you're designing and making sure that your designs align to that theme. So that's why I always preach mood boarding. It's super helpful if you're creating your own projects or your own products, definitely mood board first. It'll keep all of your things consistent and it'll also help you understand your brand better. So now that mood boarding is done, I'm going to begin sketching. I always sketch with a 0.35 millimeter pen 
dotted paper and a ruler. I always have a bunch of jumbled thoughts that need to be written down. And writing with a ruler helps me feel more precise and organized. I start writing down the design requirements and user experience of our product. I'm not the best at sketching, but I try to not let this stop me from trying anyway. Sketching while referencing my mood board helps me get closer and closer to my vision for the final product. While sketching the design for the MagSafe charger stand, I'm keeping in mind the way I used to do things before this product. I always charged with a cable that I always had to scramble to find, and I always leaned my non-charging phone against my desk shelf just so that I could preview the screen. But oftentimes my phone would die on me and that would be very frustrating. So after I finished my rough sketch, I collaborated with my sister to finalize the vision. Ashley's an artist, so together we were able to create this final version of the Cozy Lee MagSafe charger stand. So I'm recreating the MagSafe charger that we designed to give you guys an idea of what the 3D modeling process is like. Here, I show myself getting it done in one sitting, but in reality, it took a lot of revisions to get to the final design that we have now. I spent days with Tristan, iterating on this final 3D model and making sure that we accounted for everything while staying true to the meaning of Cozy Lee. We were always tweaking it to stay true to the original inspiration while incorporating as much functionality as we could. There was a lot of back and forth between 3D modeling and 3D printing to test it out. Getting each dimension correct took a lot of work and making sure we had the exact angles to make it look aesthetic while functioning well in our ecosystem. We have a whole bucket of prototypes that just didn't make the cut but I just want to share our journey and give some idea of how our products are coming to life. 3D modeling is such an interesting process because the way you form shapes in the software is a completely different way of thinking than traditional crafting methods like woodworking. And the combination of 3D modeling with 3D printing lets us iterate on our designs really quickly. All right, so now that I finished 3D modeling my design, I'm going to be starting the 3D printing process. But before I get started, I'm so happy to announce the sponsor of this portion of the video, Gantry. If you're not already familiar with Gantry, Gantry makes 3D printed lights that provide the coziest ambiance to your room. They have all sorts of lights from table lights, floor lights, and wall lights. I have gantry lights all over my house because they provide the warmest aesthetic and I just love them so much. I definitely attribute a lot of the cozy vibes in my space to gantry lights. So be sure to check the link in my description if you're interested in a gantry light for your cozy home. Also, I am so thrilled to announce that I'm actually designing my own gantry light. So I partnered with gantry to release my own light collection on their website. And this is a dream come true and honestly so exciting. I'm actually hosting a giveaway for one of my Gantry cantilever lights. If you're interested in entering this giveaway, here are the giveaway entry rules. All right, so I just opened Fluid and I'm gonna be printing out the MagSafe charger stand. And I actually just set up my 3D printer over here on a wooden base just for now. So let's get started with printing. 3D printing is what enabled us to make our MagSafe charger stand and desk accessories because you can use it to make really intricate shapes that would normally require a lot of skill to recreate by hand. It allowed us to come up with an idea and bring it to life in a really short amount of time within the comfort of my own home. The nice thing about 3D printing is that you can use plant-based recyclable plastics to lessen your environmental impact. And there's less waste involved because you only create exactly what you need. If you're interested in trying out 3D printing, definitely go for it. There are a lot of great affordable printers out there and so many resources on the internet to help you get started. Alright, so I just finished 3D printing and this is the final result of the MagSafe charger stand.
really happy with how it turned out. It just feels so zen and I really love the way it snaps together. If you're new to the concept of the Cozy Lee ecosystem, let me just explain it to you really quickly. So this is a prototype of a Cozy Lee desk mat. We made it so that it's double-sided so that you're basically getting two desk mats in one and we embedded metal inside of our desk mats so that you're able to use them with our Cozy Lee desk accessories. You hear that snapping? So they work on both sides of the desk mat. So it's just really satisfying to use, especially on the desk. This basically helps ensure that your accessories are gonna stay on the surface securely. And it's just really satisfying to place everything and to take your phone off of the stand. So this is a Cozy Lee desk mat prototype in our color blush. And the one that I have right now on my desk is the color in beige. So on this side of the desk mat, we actually lined it with merino wool. And we also offer a vegan PET felt option if you're interested in that. And this is the linoleum side with a really beautiful blush color. I'm really happy with the design of the Cozy Lee MagSafe charger. And I hope that you enjoyed following along the journey of how this idea came to life. If you're interested in learning more about Cozy Lee, my studio brand, be sure to check the links in the description below. Our next pre-order date is going to be sometime in November. So if you're excited for that, let us know down below in the comments and also share what color accessories you'd be interested in.